Hi, welcome to Arrows TV. I'm your host, Johnny Kelly. And I'm your co-host, Joseph Bob. We're joined for this special edition by point guards, James Kelly and Andreas Lycoudis. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> In today's special edition, we are going to be putting our prediction skills to the test as we look at a quick recap of each team in Division 2 and try and guess what record they're going to end with at the end of the season and what position they will end with at the season. Hopefully we can have another programme at the end of the season uh, with the loser doing some kind of funky forfeit. Oh, shake on it. Huh? Shake on it. Pass that one along, right, sure, cool. Okay, so. <clears throat> Very fair. <laughs> All right, nice. So, yeah, thank you, Andreas. Thumbs up. Amateurs. So, okay. uh, we start with the current team at the bottom, uh, holding the league up, uh, London Westside. Uh, currently, <coughs> London Westside are... No wins and 11 losses and played five at home. So far, quick overview, anybody? Westside? Uh, I, I don't mind starting off. Um, Westside, winless so far, but not, in my opinion, not a reflection on their team. I know they're having problems turning players out when we went to their place, they only had seven. But I don't think they're to be underestimated. They're a very big uh, physical, physical team who can cause teams problems. Problems. So even though they're not not in eleven, I still think there are a few games out there that that they could get. I think Andreas. A quick recap: when we went away, it was a, a late surge from us to win by ten. Would you agree with James in terms of we won by ten in the last two minutes? Is that a fair reflection? Yeah, it probably is. They um, really st they are structured, and even though they are small, they held us up. But they played a very tight zone off the defense. And on offense, they were very structured with the movements, and we just couldn't break it down. Kept running in the late stage, like we had done in the quite a few games. Brought it home. Okay, so we're we're gonna we're gonna start with you, Joseph, in terms of I'll uh, have a quick run through of who Westside still have to play uh, in the league, and how many wins are there out of those games remaining, and that'll be a record, and we'll and we'll note it down. So, Joseph, the uh, remaining games for Westside, eleven of them are Worcester at home, Ipswich away, Loughborough at home, Arrows away, Liverpool at home, Eastside away, East London away, Salt away and Eastside and Brixton at home. 11 fixtures are a lot early on yeah. uh, to try and get, get a grasp of. Um, how many wins do you see out there for, for Westside? Well, I think it's got to be really important for them to, to know that they've got to get at least three wins to make sure that they're safe. So I'm thinking the, um, the east side fixture and the, um, the Worcester fixture are probably winnable games for them. So I'm, I'm feeling they could get two to three. And if they do get that, maybe they will be able to stay up. So I think, yeah, three of those games they'll win. You think three. So they'll finish with three and 19 record. Yeah. That's noted. James? Um, ultimately, uh, for their survival, I think it will come down to home games, particularly with teams around them. I think key games are going to be with um, East Side and Brixton and Worcester. Um, I think, I think there are a couple of wins out there. Whether there's enough to stay up, I'm not sure. I think they might get maybe two more wins. Two, so two and twenty. Okay, Andreas. Um, I'd go with James two and twenty. Maybe just scrape. Maybe I think they'll get the one who probably get coming against the east side, but I th I don't think they'll stay up this season. So you're going with how many wins? One. One. So you're going for one and twenty one. Yeah. I think uh, we you got it right on the head, James. With they are we're struggling to get players out and only having seven. Although they were seven talented players. We saw late in the game that we were able to pull away because of their tiredness. I think, looking at it, although they've got Worcester, Bricks and Eastside all at home, which are three winnable games, um, I don't see them getting all those three. And I think they are going to struggle um, elsewhere as well. But they've got Eastside to play twice. I'm going to I'm going to put them down for two. I'm going to agree with James. Uh, go for two and twenty. So uh, me and James go for two and twenty. Joe three and nineteen, mm -hmm. and Andreas one and twenty one for Westside. 
Right, moving on. Uh, on to east side, um, also down at the bottom. Uh, they already have one win uh, against Worcester at home. Which was, well, that was on the buzzer, wasn't it? It was on the <coughs> yeah, for a shot to win the game. The database. The database. <laughs> James, the database. Kelly, we're going to try and see if we can get that going. No longer Jimmy, no kills. James, the database. This is alter ego. <laughs> database in the, in the day. Uh, for for East Side, quite a a mixed running. Uh, they have Pioneers, Arrows, uh, Solon all the way, Liverpool at home, Hoods away, Worcester at ho uh, West sorry, West Side at home, Worcester away, East London at home, and West Side away. Is that away already? They play West Side twice. Okay, so already one and twelve. Uh, we'll go to you, Andreas first. Uh, more or less a buzzer beater for us. We'll Scored a three pointer uh, with five seconds left to beat East Side. Mm. Um, are they better than their one and twelve record is showing? Um, I'd say they're better, but with our stronger league is this year, it's easy to see why they are there. Even though they are a strong team and have been in the league for a long time, but I just uh, I don't think like I think Worcester will stay up because they've got the uh, the opportunity to bring in players to keep them up, keep them in the league. I just don't think uh, Eastside will have the like the numbers and the players to be able to keep them up this season. James, I think um, Eastside in in a way are similar to Westside in terms of that they, they do struggle um, to get teams out. But I, like I said about Westside, I do think on their day that can be quite dangerous. They they pushed us all the way to the end, and we had we had to make some some strong plays to um, to win the game. Again, I think home form is going to be crucial to them. Um, but I, I do think they have they have got a couple of the ta talented players who who might help them over the line in a few games. Andre Lavinia, who had had a great game against us, I think he had twenty in the first half. Got called up to England under sixteen team this week. Very dangerous player. They've got a few inside guys. Who, you know, who finish well around the basket. I think there are wins out, out there for him. But like Westside, I don't know if they're going to get enough of him to, to keep him outside the bottom two. So we'll, we'll go to you, Joseph, again. Uh, just any final words and how many how many wins do you think they'll end up with? They already have one. I think they'll get one more. They'll pull a result out, but I don't think they'll get many more than that. Um, so from what Jimmy said, he are similar to... Um, the situation that West Side are in, but because of their lack of size, and it's such a big league, I think that it's, it's, if they're going to get one, it's just going to be one. So you you think um, two and twenty for East Side? Yes. Okay, uh, Andreas. Same two and twenty. Two and twenty. Um, James. I know it's the same as the the other two guys, but I, I think there's maybe one more win out there for him. I think they'll finish two, two and twenty. I think, uh, I mean, when you look at it, they've only got three more home games, Liverpool and East, East London being two of them, and West Side at home. I think West Side might have the upper hand against East Side, I must admit, <coughs> and I think there might be uh, two more wins. Um, have, there, have those two teams met so far? No. I think there's, I think there's two more wins for, for East Side. Hold on now. Hold on, let me think. No, nope, I'm still on West Side mode. That's how I roll. Uh, I'm going to go for two. Yeah, oh. two and 20. See if bet. Yeah, I had a look at it. Two and 20. Yeah. Right, moving on. Uh, we'll move on quickly. We'll, we'll ask you now. Uh, a team we're very familiar with, Joseph. Oh, man, you like that. Yes, that's how I roll. You've got to keep guessing. Uh, Worcester, seen them four times now. Um, two games we've won by, you know, near 20, and two that were really tight single figure, um, single figure victories. What's the future for them uh, coming down? Oh, I feel that from all the teams, they need this the most. You know, the, the bottom teams affiliated with the university, they, they need the status for the basketball program, so I feel there's going to be quite a few players playing uh, dual duty just uh, to help them out. The BBL. Yeah, so I feel like they'll pick up a few more wins, so they've got two wins in them. Well, but I'm not sure 
if it's going to be convincing for him, convincing enough for him to, you know, to stay up. Stay up. Well, I mean, they already have two wins, which were both West Side and uh, Brixton at home. Their remaining games are West Side and Brixton away, Pioneers at home, Solent away, Hoods at home, Hoods away, East Side at home, and East London at home. They play three teams, you know, the, the three teams around them in the bottom four. Uh, James, will they be able to get enough wins in order to get over the line? Um, I think for them, I think it's absolutely key they have, um, that they've got wins on the board already. Um, so even before they play any more games, they've got the advantage on um, East Side and West Side. What I like about Worcester is they're a young team and very enthusiastic. And I think on the, on their day they might might be able to trip somebody up. They've got um, against us. I thought they played well, and they've got some shot makers. And on their day, I think that they might might be able to get enough to just to just see them out of the yeah. bottom two. Okay, so uh, I think they're all valid points, Andres. Uh, we're going to start off with you. So they're on two and twelve at the moment. Eight games remaining. Three against uh, the you know the three amongst them. Uh, how many wins do you see left for Worcester? Um, that probably see another two out of the three win out of those three teams that are around them, because they're well coached, well structured. They go deep if they got they go deep if they've got a dual dual duty players playing, mm -hmm. which they can do at home. And I just think, like James says, really enthusiastic. They have got a lot of players who can play uh, very deep, and I I think they'll get they'll 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 win the games at home. Okay, uh, and the do you think they'll have two more wins? Yeah, so you're saying two more wins. We'll take them to four and eighteen. Uh, we'll come down the sofa, James. I think potentially they might have three more wins in them. I think they, I think they might get the better of East Side twice. Um, in 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 big games, East Side being short of players, you always worry for them how their season might end, whether their players will be able to see it through, and who's going to turn out. I think potentially they can get two wins there, and I do think they can get West Side. So that'll give them five in total, and I think ultimately that'll be enough um, to save them from relegation. Five and 17. Joseph? I'm giving them one more win. Um, but maybe two more, but I'm thinking everyone's going to be fighting for that, for that spot. So I'm thinking, as a young team, they might let a game slip. So I'm thinking one more win. One more win. So you think three and 19 mm -hmm. Worcester? I think I have to side um, away from James and more towards Joseph and Andreas. I think they're going to have to go away to Brixton, uh, which is, as well, we know, a tough place a to tough go. Place to go. Um, and looking at their other games, they're, yeah, two against Hoods, I mean, they're going to come again, I think. <sighs> West side away, east side at home. I think, I think there's only one more win. Um, one more win out there for them. I think when we saw them last, I thought it looked like um, they were shutting down a little bit. They showed a little bit of heart, and then as soon as a little bit of a lead uh, creeped open, uh, we were able to burst the door wide open and, and, and take the game. Although we were playing really well, um, it didn't look like there was a lot of morale there. I could be mistaken, but I think there's one more in there. 3-19 and 19 I'm going for. Moves on to Brixton. Sour point for us, uh, Brixton. Uh, we'll come to you, James. We play Brixton on the second day of a, back, uh, a London doubleheader um, and a tight loss. Um, came down to a shot that we didn't, you know, we didn't make on the buzzer. But you know, tired legs. Or are Brixton, uh, Brixton, you know, a lot better than their four and nine. Um, I would suggest. I, I think I think in, in our game with them, you have to take a few thing, a few factors into consideration. Um, yeah, it, there were some tired legs. It was a very um, not just physically demanding, but emotionally demanding the day before against Pioneers, where we, where it was so close all the way through. We've just sort of had to be focused, you know, all the time. So there is an element of that. There's, there is an element of they're a good team um, in a venue that's. Diff like, it's difficult to go to historically uh, for any team um, and I think they're, they're pretty well coached um, so I, I was quite impressed with what Brixton did um, and uh, again I, I do think 
especially in Brixton, they could be a bit of a banana skin for a couple of teams. Well, I'll go over um, what they have left. Uh, they've got nine games left and only three of them at home. I'll go over them uh, quickly. Um, not, many, not many matches against the guys at the bottom for them. They've got Solon at home, Hoods away, Worcester at home, Ipswich away, Arrows away, Liverpool away, Loughborough away, Loughborough at home, and West Side away. Who are the home games again? Uh, the home games, yeah, sorry, is Solent, Loughborough, and Worcester. Hmm. Do they play East Side? No, they play West Side away. They've already played the East Side twice. They've played East Side twice and beat them twice. Their wins so far this year have been West Side at home, East Side at home, Arrows at home, and East Side away. We'll, we'll move this on quickly. Um, we'll go to you, Andreas, to start us off with, with Brixton. How many wins do you think are left? I can see them getting another two, two, uh, two or three wins. Have they played West Side yet? They played West Side once. Well, they at home and they won. Yeah, I'd, I'd see, I could see them be, um, maybe another two or three wins and then they could. They're a, a talented team, well structured, but they've also got a lot of experienced guys on that team who know how to get the job done. Um, that's where I think they could beat Worcester. And east side because they're deeper and well structured. They're just like uh, west side. Yeah, yeah. But I think they they'll get west side and Worcester. So you think two more wins for them? Yeah. Finishing uh, with six wins and sixteen losses. Uh, we'll come to you, Joseph, next. Three wins. Three wins. They're gonna get one of their home games, I think. And. Um, yeah, I think I think they'll have they'll, yeah they'll, they're better than their record is you know so if you see they we had quite a few uh, results where they've lost by less than five and like you know second half like a few bad mistakes cost them the game so I'm thinking like you know playing longer less mistakes I mean the team getting used to each other I think they'll get three more wins three more wins to end up with seven seven and fifteen yeah seven and fifteen. Uh, James? Um, I, I do rate Brixton as a team. I do think they're good. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realise they're running. They have a very difficult running of games. Um, I think there's maybe two more out there. I think, they're, I think they'll be quite confident they've got enough to stay up. For them, they'll be pushing for that final playoff spot, I would have thought. I, I, I think they'll just miss out. Um, I think there's two more wins out there for them. So, you 6 and 16. Yeah. Uh, I have to admit, I have to go with the consensus of James and Andreas. I do think, uh, in terms of, I do think they're slightly ahead of Worcester East Side and West Side in terms of their ability. But looking at their their runnings, um, they've got so many away games, um, and two of their home games uh, being against Solent and Loughborough. I think Solent and Loughborough will get the wins there, even though it's a tough place to go. So. I'm going to have to go for 6 and 16, I'm afraid. That completes the uh, bottom four uh, of the National League Division 2. Uh, we'll take a quick break. Uh, make sure you watch the next video um, on Arrows TV. And we'll be back with you shortly. <laughs> 